everybody. Um, this week I just wanted to go through a, a little bit more on my uh, Mulgrave design. So it's the new knife that I've been making up with uh, a deer manager that I know. Very similar to my uh, Rose Stalker design, but basically one of the main differences, we've put the hump at the back of the blade. One of the reasons for that is it gives your thumb something to rest against uh, and also it gives a bit more of the blade to hold on to um, when you're getting your finger to the end of it. Uh, one of the other things that we've done regarding the design is we've taken it, made it a little bit narrower. Uh, so it gives it a bit more of a, a sharper point at the front. Uh, and also somewhere where you can actually use your, your blade to get into some uh, more intricate areas. So basically my sheath ideas that I've done for these so far. So my standard ones I started off doing with the original prototypes uh, was sort of this style. So it's a Kydex sheath with a leather belt loop. So I've made that one up for, for this sheath, uh, with this knife and also this green one here. So first design. Second one is leather sheath. So this one, pop over catch over the top. Belt loop, it actually doubles as two belt loops on it. So the original one, starting at this level here, um, thought that that might be a little bit too much or basically too high up the belt so the top of the knife would actually dig into your side possibly so what I've done is added an extra piece of leather so we can use that part as the belt loop belt loop uh, catch over the top of the blade so it gives you plenty of the knife to be able to hold on to to pull out of the, of the, the sheath so back in like that uh, third design that I've done Another Kydex one, but this time we have folded over sheath on it. So it's just a, a, another variation on the theme. Another leather belt loop, but what I might do in the future, if I make a few more of this particular style, is to get a, a thick webbing um, belt loop on it. So the, the belt loop and the sheath can all be stay together when you're washing it. The idea for this one at the minute is that you'd have to, if you want to really give the uh, sheath a good soaking and a good clean out, you'd have to take the um, belt loop part off so you're not damaging the leather. But if I can swap that to a thick webbing one, then hopefully uh, you won't have to take it apart as often. And also these cargo screws, the more you open, undo them and put them back on, it might loosen them off slightly and therefore in use they might come out. But ideally they want to be solid in place so using some Loctite or whatever and make sure it's all solid ready to go. Now these two knives here are going out for long-term tests. Um, this one I've made with the leather sheath as well as well as the Kydex one. This one's just staying with the Kydex. Um, both of them going to the friends that have helped us out to sort of try and design these two up. This one I've run slightly, something slightly different as well. These two here and this one are all G10. So this one's just a plain orange G10. G10, orange G10 with black liners and then I've got a green G10 with the orange liners. But what I've done with this one is I've gone over it with some bead blasting. And it just brings up the grain slightly on the G10. Almost got a slight contour where you've got layers of material there. Gives a little bit of roughness so it gives a little bit more grip to it when the knife gets wet. Or you're using it in wet conditions or obviously got blood on it as well so we're going to try that one out and see how that works but that's another option that I can sort out so like I said these two are going out on the long term test these two will be coming up with me to the Northern Shooting Show uh, and if you're interested there might be a bit of an offer available attached to them as well but I'm not too sure I've got to sort it all out but come and find me on the show and you'll, I'm sure you'll see what they're all about Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you're interested in, in a Mulgrave at all or any other knives that I make, just please get in touch via social media, email or give us a call. Uh, other than that, thank you very much and I'll see you later.